Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a tuned Lamborghini Huracan and next to me is a tuned Nissan GTR. And next to me in that direction is a Formula One car. <laughs> and we're gonna have a drag race. So let me tell you about this Lamborghini. It has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10. Oh, actually it doesn't because it's tuned. It's had two turbochargers bolted onto it. The result is 1200 horsepower, 1240 Newton meters of torque. It's nuts. It's got a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, launch control, four wheel drive. It weighs in at 1,553 kilos, though I'm not sure whether that's a wet or dry weight, but who cares? In terms of the price, 150,000 pounds this car cost and it's had £70,000 worth of tuning done to it. It's actually on standard engine and standard gearbox, but it has obviously got other bits and pieces done to it, such as those turbos. Now, let me tell you about that Nissan GTR. That has a built engine. So it's a 4.1 litre stroker engine and obviously upgraded turbos and all that kind of stuff. The result is 1,300 horsepower and 1,290 newton meters of torque. It's heavier than this Lamborghini though. It's 1,840 kilos. It does have four wheel drive though, like this Lamborghini and it's also got a six-speed automatic gearbox with launch control. However, because they're running on street drive shafts, they're having to launch that car with a slightly reduced rev setting, so it's not as aggressive as it could be, but then it does have more power than this. So maybe it'll just work itself out in the wash. We shall see. But before we see, let me tell you about that Formula One car. So it's the 2011 Red Bull Racing Championship winning RB7. Completely nuts, that thing. So it's got a 2.4 litre natural aspirated V8, with between 700 and 800 horsepower. It's rear wheel drive. It's got a seven speed automatic gearbox with paddle shifters, though to launch it, you have to use a clutch and blah, 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 blah. That's on the steering wheel. In terms of pricing of that car, whew, it's expensive. So the season for that car was 250 million. They'd had four cars, so divide that up, it works out to about 62 million for that car. It's quite light, it's mainly carbon fiber, so it weighs in at around 700 kilos. Anyway, let's do this. But before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Also, I want to say a big thanks to the guys who sorted out these tuned cars. Jam Imports and Buzzy Singh actually owns this one. And if you want to check out Jam Imports, there's a link in the description. And if you want to follow Buzzy Singh and find out more about this car on Instagram, at Buzzy Singh. Anyway, let's get on with this. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we race, we're going to do the obligatory CarWow sound check. So I'm going to rev up this Lambo. Here we go. Whoa, yes. Oh, listen to those turbos. Now we've got Jürgen from Jam Imports in the GTR. I'm going to get him to rev his car up. Hey, Jürgen, go on, rev up your car. Yeah, the V6 doesn't sound quite as good as this, but it's still pretty free. It's as good as yours, Mark. The guy's right. <laughs> These are going to be overshadowed now because I'm going to get the Formula One driver to rev up their car. It is actually David Coulthard. Hey, David, can you do us a favor and rev up your F1 car? <laughs> that's just nuts. Right, that's enough of that. Let's do this, let's race. Come on, Lamborghini. I'm going to do this for you, Buzzy, fellow Brummy. Come on, we got this. Oh my god, this is nuts! <laughs> Formula One car. I don't know what happened to the GTR. How was your launch, Jürgen? Do you need to have another go? I think he wants another go. Don't know what channel is on. It's a bit crackly. Hey, David. Did it look like I jumped the start from where you were sitting? I'm watching the starter, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't really hear him. I think he said, no, Matt, you didn't jump the start. It was a perfect start. I wish I was as good a racing driver as you are. That's definitely what he said. Three, two, three. Oh, it's closer this time. Too late. 
Didn't that GTR was so far behind? Definitely win again though. How was the GTR that time, Jurgen? Yeah, it was all good. Apart from the fact you got beaten, yeah? I'm going to give you another go because this is so much fun. David, would you like one more go on it? Yep, absolutely. If the team are happy, I'm happy. Oh, it's so close between everyone. Come on! Whoa! I can hear the Formula One guys coming! Where is he? Where is he? I'm gonna do this again! I can just hear it. I can just hear it in the distance. Oh, this car is so quick! Three races, three wins. How was that for you, David? How was that for you? This Lamborghini is absolutely insane. It launches like crazy. And I can hear your Formula One car. I just forgot about the GTR. It was in the race. I think that what you've definitely got is incredible traction, incredible power. Start to run out of top end, so on the mile, we would definitely have the advantage over you. But over that quarter mile, I just can't get off the line quick enough to get the momentum on you. So how was that for you, Jürgen? Were you um, far behind? You came last, right? Too far behind, but the Lambo, like that spec, is pretty much king of the street for me. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Lamborghini won, completing the standing quarter mile in an incredible 8.9 seconds. The Formula One car was second with a time of 9.2 seconds, and the Nissan was last, completing the quarter mile in 9.3 seconds. Now we have a rolling race in second gear from around 50. I've got to do two walkie talkies. Three, two, one, go. I've just f***ed off! <laughs> now! This is nuts! Whoa! I mean, I just destroyed absolutely everybody! Juggling walkie-talkies! <laughs> Oh God, I've got to talk to DC on this for the Red Bull team and I've got to talk to Jürgen on this. Okay guys, I'm juggling two walkie-talkies. First up, DC, how was that for you? <whistles> Nothing from David. He's obviously pissed off because he didn't win. Okay, how was that for you that time, Jürgen? It was really good, mate. I started picking pace up once I hit fourth and fifth. How far were you behind me at the three cones? Quite far. How was that for you, David? Yep, the start was a little bit too much to finish even for me in second gear, but the mid-range power, very impressive, the full car. It seems like the skyline is going strong there as well. We're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. Here's the line now! Come on! Beat that GTR! Beat the GTR, the Formula One car absolutely smashed everybody. <laughs> that is close between me and the GTR. That is not bad at all. Ah, I'm quite pleased with that. From the F1 car. What was that, Jürgen? We got smashed, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> we definitely got smashed. <laughs> Look, he's just, he's buggering off, he doesn't care. It's like, yeah, I won that, no problem at all. But I won the drag race. Okay, so I go back to the start point again. Uh, and turn the engine off. That's the Red Bull Formula One team there. They just need to get their car back. You have to manage the heat and all that kind of stuff with it. You have to with this as well, because it's pretty blooming <laughs> insane. Wow, this car's blown me away. Absolutely blown me away. Okay, and that's and that's, uh, that's Jürgen as well. Everyone's shouting at me. We need to get we, we need to wrap this up. Stop talking! <laughs> this is just oh, all these walkie talkies. Just, just, just shut up now! I'm not right there. I, I did turn I this off. I got at the beginning, even in second gear, so I lost the momentum, but then they just kept going. So, uh, I'm not there. There we go. As ever, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, okay, and hit your bell icon to turn the notifications on. That way you won't miss any of these crazy drag races. I've put links in the descriptions below to all the guys who've lent us these cars. Please check them out as a way to say thanks because the more you do that, the more of these kind of cars we can get. And of course, big thank you to Red Bull and Red Bull Racing for lending us their Formula One car and for David Coulthard for being a good sport and driving. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, click on those windows there to watch some more videos, and on that box there to check out the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard, and you can see how these cars compare to all the other cars we've drag raced over the years on CarWow. Check it out.